part two wants us to find dy by dx and it's telling us um, this is probably just to help us because we'll need it in part three um, that the answer we're expecting is sec theta so we need to differentiate um, x and y because dy by dx is going to equal dy by d theta over dx by d theta. So we need to differentiate each of those bits. dy by d theta, when we differentiate y, we're going to get 4 cos theta. The bottom one, we're going to need to differentiate this. And theta is the variable, so when we differentiate 2 theta, we just get 2. And when we differentiate sine 2 theta, we're going to get 2 cos 2 theta using the chain rule. I'm going to need to times by the 2. So 2 cos 2 theta. Now obviously that looks nothing like sec theta. So how do we get around that? Well, cos 2 theta, um, there's a formula, the double angle formula, um, that says 2 cos squared theta... <laughs> Hey! Hey! Bunny! Shh! We can use the double angle formula for cos 2 theta. Um, I'm going to go for the one um, in terms of cos squared theta, so that's 2 cos squared theta take 1. That's something you should just know, I'd recommend you learning that if you can't remember it, or can't remember how to de derive it. Um, it's just really useful to know. So I'm going to replace my 2 cos 2 theta... with 4 cos squared theta take 2. So all of this here is going to be swapped for this. So I'm going to go down here now and we've got 4 cos theta on the top over 2 plus 4 cos squared theta take 2 on the bottom. Hopefully you can see what's going on now. This, these 2's are going to cancel um, and the 4's are going to cancel and we've got cos theta over cos squared theta. One of the cos's are going to cancel which is 1 over cos theta which is sec theta.